Hi everyone, so I thought I'd best make this video because uh, I need to address some things that happened yesterday. So let's get on with it, shall we? Alright everyone, Jordy Paul here. Welcome back to Magpie Movies. Hope you're all doing well. So as the thumbnail suggested, We've got to talk about yesterday, haven't we? Yep, yeah, there's a lot of talk across the internet about yesterday. Um, so I feel like from my personal point of view, I need to address it. And that's all fine. Uh, before I do get into that, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And so whenever I do a new video, you'll be the first to know. And if of course you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. So until we... Oh, sorry, I'll start again. So before we get into yesterday's dis discussion... Uh, I'll show you what I picked up yesterday as well. So I went with the kids out shopping to get some beers in and I went to the local charity shop Bernardo's and I picked this up which is the Flight of the Concorde season one and two for a pound. Now I've always wanted to get this. Uh, I've seen a few of the first episodes, um, the first season's episodes sorry but I've never really got it so within this we have, I'll show you because I'm quite happy with this, um, season one now, I don't think this has a Blu-ray release, which comes with two discs. And then obviously, because it's the complete series, we have season two. Which again... Oh, can do it, show you. It has two discs. So yeah, so looking forward to actually starting to watch this show. Uh, I did, like I said, originally start watching it. Um, but uh, I never got around to finishing it. So there we go. Flight of the Concords, box set, £1. Happy with that. So there you go. Right, so, shall we address what happened yesterday? Yeah, I think it's time. Um, I, got, I, I wouldn't say I was upset, but I felt a bit down after what happened. And um, yeah, all about these guys. Yep, yeah, this is my 95, 96 season. Yep, yeah, so first time, I think it was like 15 years, that we got to Wembley yesterday to play Manchester United. Yeah, we lost 2-0. Yeah, am I disappointed? Yeah, 2 0 down at half time. Um, the team just didn't seem to have any cutting edge, unfortunately. Uh, we had Callum Wilson up top, but I felt he got a bit isolated. Uh, Alan Sir Maxman was um, lively down the wing. Miguel Baron's dropped in form a bit. Trippier's delivery's not getting better since the season began, and I'm a bit disappointed with that. Uh, also, had Loris Carries back a goal with a lot of speculation over him, whether it be any good or not. I thought he had an outstanding performance. Well, not outstanding, but he had a good performance. A bit of dust there. Um, so, yeah, so I had a few beers last night watching the match. Even the kids came in afterwards and went, you sad, Daddy? I went, no, I'm just used to it. <laughs> just used to it now, love. Just used to it. Um, but for me, for me, like, from, from a Newcastle perspective, man, the match, I would probably go along the lines of who could we think. Bruno was excellent again. But I, I think until Aaron Wan-Bissaka came on, um, Alan was, um, Sam Maximan was our threat. Um, but I loved it how when the teams came out, the camera pan to the right, you could see all the black and white scarves and flags and everything was a sea of black and white with the stripes. And then you looked at the Man United and they just looked piss poor in comparison, really. Um, and then even with 10 minutes to go, our slot were 2-0 down. And then the flags came out again. And you can show that the team is, well, the supporters like myself is fully behind the team. We've been through much crap with Mike Ashley. Um, I wouldn't say we deserve. We have no, we have no right to owning any silverware or to getting any silverware. But I think the fans deserve something for what we've had to put up with. But there's no, like I said, no divine right. We got through to the final on merit. We got defeated by a better team, although we had more possession. You could just see that we didn't have the cutting edge to the final, in the final third, and getting through to Cal Milton. Even when we brought on Isaac, he he provided some more of an outlet, and then obviously Sam Maxman nearly scored, but. The hair saved it. But overall, I'm disappointed, but I'm proud of the lads, and I thought they did an outstanding effort um, to, go up Man uh, to go up against Manchester United, which who were banging form, especially with Marcus Rashford. It was always going to be difficult, especially since a couple of weeks after the, uh, the World Cup break and we came back in January. Our form hasn't been the best. I mean, yeah, we beat Leicester 3-0 away the first game since we came back, but then we've had draws, and then obviously we lost 2-0 to Liverpool the week before. Got Manchester City coming up next, which away at the Etihad, um, so that's going to be difficult. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd share my my um, my views on it. 
Um, so yeah, just want to talk about that. But yeah, not this isn't always going to be about football. But you know what? It's Magpie Movies. It's my channel. I'm a Geordie, exiled in Darlington. If I want to talk about the football, I will. It's my channel. But you all know that anyway. That's why you subscribe. But yes, that's it. That's all I want to talk about. Um, like I said, don't forget to please like, share and subscribe. Um, pop along my Facebook movie page as well. Um, on on uh, you uh, on Facebook, obviously. Just Google Magpie Movies. It should come up there. Join in. Join the chat. Show us what you bought. If you've got movies, show us what you're watching. Uh, last night I watched Creed again because uh, I've only seen the first one, so I rewatched that last night, and then I'm going to watch Creed two this week, and then when it comes out streaming, watch Creed three. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I've been watching. Uh, but other than that, enjoy yourself, have a good week, um, and I'll see you all on Sunday for my live stream with James Lack, aka Movie Bug, which I'm really looking forward to. Cause James and I have a really really good chat, so we'll have an hour and a half of movies, music, and more. So. Come along, get involved in the chat. But other than that, thanks very much. See you all soon. This is Joey Paul, last surviving member of my movie, saying what we do in life echoes in eternity. And you're all great. Catch you all soon. Bye for now.